Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to install the Google Gemini AI as an app on Windows 11. Although Gemini is integrated on many Google products and services, it doesn't have a native app for Windows devices. However, you can install the chatbot as a progressive web app through Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome in the same way that you can install ChatGPT on Windows 11. Check the video description to get the link to the video for that tutorial. Okay, let's dive into the steps to install Gemini as a web app on Windows 11, but this instruction will also work on Windows 10. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, the first method, I'm going to use Microsoft Edge. And to do that, open Start and look for Edge. Now you're going to open the Gemini website using this link. Now, if you're not signed in, you can sign in with your account or you can do that later. Now, from here, we're going to open the main menu in the top right. And then we're going to go to apps and then we're going to choose the install this site as an app. Confirm the name for the app, in this case, Gemini. You can change the icon if you want and then simply click the install button. Now, in here, you're going to have some options that you can choose. For example, you can pin this web app to the taskbar, and you can also pin it to start menu. You also have different options right here. And then click the yellow button. And that's it. Now you have Gemini installed as an app on Windows 11. And since this is just a wrapper, you can access all the same settings and everything as you would when you seen the web version of the chatbot. If you want to switch to the dark theme, you can click right here and turn on this toggle switch. When you close this and you reopen the app, your settings will be preserved. Now, since this is a supported web applications, you're going to find the app on the start menu. So if you look for Gemini right here, you're going to find it. When you click that, you can launch the application. Now, if you want to remove it, you can do it from here and then you need to go to app settings and from here you can click the uninstall button now if you are on the start menu when you look for the app you will have the option to uninstall it and on the same way if we go to the settings app if we go to apps install apps and then we just look for the app we're going to find the option to remove it Now, the second method that I want to show you is how to install Gemini AI as an app, but using Google Chrome. And to do that, open start and look for Google Chrome. Then we need to go to the Gemini website and then we're going to open the main menu. And from here, we're going to go to cast, save and share. And then we're going to click on the install page as an app. You can choose a different name if you want, and then just click the install button. And that's it. You have now installed Gemini as an app on Windows 11. You can right click the app icon and select the pin to touch bar. If you want to keep it right here on the touch bar, once you close it, you can always reopen it from the same location. And since this is another supported way to install web services on Windows 11, we can also find this app from the start menu. And from here, you can access different settings, but most of the settings are from Chrome. If you want to remove it, you have the option right here. And again, you can also find the option to remove it from the install apps page. And then click the uninstall button. Check this option and then click the remove button. I'm just going to leave the application installed, so I'm going to cancel this. And that's pretty much it. Those are the uh, two ways that you can use on Windows 11 to install Gemini AI. So you can run it alongside, for example, Copilot, which we have right here, which is also a web app. And if you also have the uh, chat GPT installed on the computer, you can use these three chatbots right from the desktop. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.